Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 12, eight, and seven. And the seven-year-old is here with me today to help me with my product empties video. If you are interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle, you've come to the right place. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below the video. In today's video, like I said, we are gonna be doing product empties. So particularly beauty products, hair products, all sorts of things. So, this is over the last four or five months. So my helper is actually going to be reaching into the basket underneath this filming area and picking up things randomly. And I will tell you all about them as fast as possible. I'm gonna to try to do like a very speedy product empties for you. Ready, go. Oh, this is a good one. So this is actually um, by Neogen, and this is their Real Ferment Micro Essence, the 93% Micro Bio Ferment Complex. I use this basically as an essence, kind of like SK2 or something. You can see in the bottle there, it's very, very watery. Here, I'll put some out on my hand so you can see. If there's any, it just drips out like, like water. And it has that same texture, and it's a very very moisturizing to the face. Again, with any essence, with any moisture that you're adding to your face, you want to put some cream on right after to lock it in. But I love this stuff. This is like my favorite essence. I actually used something like SK2 before, some other dupe, I think Nisha Revolution or something like that, and it like peeled off my skin, which I have not heard of happening to anybody else, but that's what happened to me. What have we got here? Ooh, this is, oh, you like this one. Can you read it? Uh, bun. Bum bum cream. Bum bum, bum, bum cream. cream. This is the bum bum cream. Um, okay. The Brazilian bum bum cream. And it is very, very nice. It smells amazing. Oh, you can still smell it. I don't know why I'm showing you. I think I'm showing you that I use it completely. I like getting it whenever they have these limited edition giant ones because it's ridiculously overpriced. But it smells so wonderful that I just keep buying it every now and then. So my helper actually ran away, but she's back now. Um, she had to tell all her siblings about the bum bum cream because it was so funny, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we have the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is the same facial cleanser that I've used for years and years. Um, it's gone through different evolutions. I think they have a foaming one as well. I have more dry skin, so I don't really use the foaming one. But if you had more oily skin or combination skin, that might be a better bet for you. I really like their hydrating facial cleanser. It's really mild. I always use it as a double cleanse. So I do an oil cleanse first, and then I use this second. And I only cleanse my face once a day, so it works really well. I just keep finishing them and buying a new one. I'm not into buying expensive cleansers because I feel like these things are on your face for a very short amount of time. The main thing you want to do is not strip your skin. <laughs> so the next one my helper picked is the Hada Labo um, Skin Plumping Gel Cream. I've used this several times. I actually order mine from Amazon from Hada Labo uh, itself as a seller. And it looks like, let's see if I can get any out. I can't get any out. But it's a, it's actually a clear gelatinous jelly-like consistency. It's a really good hyaluronic acid cream. I like to switch it up with them. I honestly like lots of different hyaluronic acid creams. I like the Hada Labo cream. I like the Neutrogena Dry and Sensitive Skin Hydro Boost. If you want to go to CVS or Walgreens, that's an easy one to pick up. I like a lot of serums that have hyaluronic acid in them. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant. It's a molecule that is naturally occurring in our skin, but it, it attracts lots of water molecules to it. So it really like plumps up that outer layer of skin. The thing to remember about hyaluronic acid is that you really do have to lock in that moisture with an occlusive layer of, you know, a petroleum based or shea butter based, more emollient based cream afterwards. Next up is the Dermatology Peptide Night Cream. Now, the Dermatology is a new to me company in the last year. It is Dermatology without any of the vowels. I don't know how to pronounce this. I don't know if we're supposed to say dermatology or dermatology or say the letters i don't know but i'm assuming you're just supposed to say dermatology and i really like this cream it has peptides ceramides um antioxidants and it's supposed to be anti-aging it's just a cream it's shea butter based they have this tripeptide complex. The thing about peptides and creams that you have to be aware of is peptides are really large molecules and so there's research on petri dishes of skin cells in a dish but that shows that we can actually get the peptides through there have not been as robust studies on human skin like living human skin on a person's face that we can actually get peptides to penetrate our skin 
deep enough to do anything. Now, the idea is that, you know, it would promote collagen building, elastin formation, et cetera, you know, keep that youthful bounciness to our skin. However, the research is mixed, so I don't really want to pay too much money for any peptide creams. That being said, I'm not averse to trying some of them in my night creams. You have to remember that our skin is designed to keep things out. It is a skin barrier, right? Like our skin, when it's optimally functioning, keeps a lot of things out. So it's hard to get things in there that are active ingredients. But my recommendation for any peptide cream would be not to spend too much money on it because it just isn't that proven technology yet. Next up is, ooh, this is one of my favorite things. Okay, this is the Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade. Now you can see I, I dropped it on the floor, one of my children did, and it's like a glass thing and it kind of chipped there, but it did not break, so kudos to it. It is a little dark pot of gel and it's very um, firm to the touch. The way I use it is I use it with a little eyebrow brush and a little stiff short bristle brush and then I put a little bit into the lid and then I just work off the lid for what I need. This is my favorite eyebrow product ever. I buy one every year or so just because it dries out a little bit. I never actually get even close to finishing it so you could use this for longer than a year. I just like to have a new one every year. I feel like it's you know sanitary but it is incredibly economical when you think that's the only eyebrow product you need so i really recommend that next oh and i use it in the color dark brown i think and sometimes well one shade higher than that but i don't use black because it's like super black uh this is the rose vegan lip balm by biosance i really like this this was just sort of like a glorified vaseline but it had a nice um texture like a little bit more slip than Vaseline, a little bit more stickiness than Vaseline, and like stayed on longer. Sticky is the wrong word, a little bit more emollient. Um, it was not as effective as the Laneige lip mask overnight for keeping my lips moist, but this one never gave me any irritation, and it is vegan if that's important to you, and I think the color is actually really pretty. This is the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Anti-Aging. This is the non-tinted version. I really like their tinted one, and I'm just about to finish my first bottle of that, but they're both really good. This is a mixed um, a combination sunscreen, so it has 12% zinc oxide and 7.5% octanoxate. I've talked about sunscreens ad nauseum, but combination sunscreens are really good. Zinc oxide is a great physical sunscreen barrier. So this one is a combination sunscreen with zinc oxide that has absolutely no white cast whatsoever on someone of my skin tone. So I think it's a great win. What do you think? Oh, this is the tinted version, you guys. So I actually loved this. This is the universal tint. It's an SPF 45 as well. And same exact active ingredient profile. So 12% zinc oxide, 7.5% octanoxate. I really love this sunscreen. This is my new go-to actually. And um, it just goes on really nicely. It's all I have on my face right now for, you know, any kind of base. Oh, it's like brown. Okay, so we're going to show you on my daughter's hand. So see, you can see here, it has a slight creamy tint, like a slight creamy tint, but as you rub it into the skin, it really does take on the hue of whatever skin you're, you're rubbing it into. So it's really nice and smooth. It dries down beautifully. I'm really impressed with this sunscreen. Hey, sunscreen? Next. Hey, I want you to throw the Sorry. Eyes. I'm terrible at letting other people throw things. So the next one is the Waleda Skin Food Body Butter. It's an oldie but a goodie, and people have liked it for a long time. If you like a very natural body butter, a really thick, rich cream, um, this is something you're going to like. Like, you could actually pull this out with a spatula. Like, it has a pretty thick consistency, and it is based in sunflower seed oil and cocoa seed butter and glycerin. So, all really good, you know, thick, rich ingredients for a body butter. I enjoyed it. I don't think it's the end all of be all cream, but it's a really nice one. Ah, this is a hair product that I have loved. This was recommended to me by my friend Arlene over at Arlene and Company. Uh, Maui Moisture um, Nourish and Moisture Coconut Milk Conditioner for dry hair. They actually have, if you go on Maui Moisture, they have like a, a sliding scale of what is appropriate for your hair based on its amount of dryness and coarseness and curliness, etc. So this seemed to be my best fit and I really, really like it. It uh, smells nice. It goes on nice. I have a noticeable difference in my hair softness when I use it. So big fan. This is also by Dermatology. 
you can tell I've been trying out this brand. This is their Needleless Serum Renew Formula. This is one of their most popular products, I believe. I really like this um, as a peptide slash ceramide slash hyaluronic acid night serum. So this is sort of my night serum. After I wash my face, this is the first thing I put on after I miss the neogen on my face for moisture. And then I do like a moisturizer, like the peptide moisturizer or something like that. I let that dry down. I put on my retinoid. I put on another moisture layer and then I call it a day. The next product my, my helper handed me is the Acure. Is that how you say it? Acure? I don't know. The Acure Brilliantly Brightening Cleansing Gel. Uh, this is pomegranate, blackberry, and a size for all skin types, 100% vegan. And like all of the other Acure products, it is paraben-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, mineral oil-free, petroleum-free, sil silicone-free, and cruelty-free. I think the most important word there is cruelty-free, if that is really important to you. A lot of the other things, I have lots of feelings about natural companies fear-mongering about a lot of those ingredients, but if those are important to you, this is a good company to try out. I've liked a lot of their things, actually. Um, I'm not a big fan of gel cleansers. I don't like the feeling of the gel foaming in my hands or on my face. I hate the feeling of residue. So this isn't my favorite thing, but I would use this in the shower because in the shower, you know, there's just more water. You wash off everything a little bit more well. I didn't notice any brilliant brightening with this, but like I said, it's a clean beauty product and I like a lot of the things that this company makes. The next product is the SkinCeutical C and E for Rulic. This is their vitamin C serum. This is the most expensive item in my skincare regimen. I use this every other day in the morning, first thing after spritzing my face with the Neogen or any other essence that I'm using. And it is remarkably expensive. And I subscribe to it. I think I get it from DurhamStore.com so that I can get 15% off. Um, I try to eke it out. I have tried many different cheaper uh, vitamin C serums. They do not do anything for me. They do not function as well as this one. When I use this one consistently, I immediately notice a brightening effect. I immediately notice my 11 gets reduced right here between um, my eyebrows. SkinCeuticals holds a patent that is very unique in that it covers the a pH range of vitamin C on the face. And that pH range has actually been, you know, researched to be the most effective pH range for vitamin C to be effective on the skin. So every time somebody comes up with a vitamin C serum within that pH range, SkinCeutical sues them. For example, they recently sued Drunk Elephant for their Firma C serum. And I don't know how that went, but I will tell you that I have never seen results with another vitamin C serum. Nothing. Not Timeless, not any of the over-the-counter ones that are at like Target or the drugstore or anything like that. So I have tried because I would love to not spend this much on a vitamin C serum. But for me, it has definite results and I will stick by it. The next product is also by Biosense. This is their a uh, squalene and omega repair cream. This is a little sample jar that got sent to me from Sephora. I've actually used the full size of this. I really like it. The one thing about it is it's fragrance free, but because they use squalene oil in it, which is very moisturizing, but kind of smelly. So a little smelly. bit smelly. smelly. What does it smell like? Something smelly. Okay, we don't know, but it's something smelly. So that's exactly how I would describe it. It doesn't smell like anything bad. Maybe a smelly flower. It smells like not a very pleasant botanical smell, I would say. That's a good way of putting it. But the smell dries down. So by the time you go to bed, it's pretty much gone. Ah, speaking of the full size, here is the full size jar of it. So it comes in a really nice weighty glass jar. If you like the feel of products, that's really nice. So you can see it's like a white thick emollient cream. It has a lovely texture. I really liked how it worked on the skin. So I will be repurchasing this one. I also like this sort of matte rose gold kind of lid and everything. When you pick up a glass jar for skincare, it just makes you feel like you're doing something important. Next up is this little very used tube of Carousel, and it's an intensive foot cream. It comes out kind of like a very thick petroleum jelly. It's really good for your heels, you guys. If you have cracked heels, if you have dry feet, particularly as winter rolls around, just smooth this over your feet plop on some socks and your feet will literally become softer and softer and within two weeks you'll have soft feet again. This active ingredient is urea. It's a really moisturizing humectant kind of ingredient while also being slightly exfoliating. So it's working double time for you. This is the Biosense um, gel moisturizer with squalene and probiotics. Now, I like this. I thought it was a nice gel moisturizer. It has hyaluronic acid in it like so many other gel moisturizers. 
but I didn't like it enough to pay this much for those active ingredients. So very nice product. If you want to keep your, you know, your routine simple and within one company, I think Biosense is a really nice company for that, but it wasn't like my favorite thing. Next up is the Anastasia mascara. I really like this. I like everything about it. I like the packaging. I like the weight and heft of the packaging. I'm very old fashioned. I liked circular mascara tubes and mascara wands. It has like an hourglass shape spoolie and it definitely puts too much product on the, the wand. So I have to kind of clean it off. It gets kind of all over your lower lashes when you use it. I have really short stubby lashes. I don't like falsies or anything like that. But this one does a nice job of like lengthening and body and volume and all of those things. I really liked it. I didn't find that it flaked too much. Um, it was a really nice mascara for the price. The next product up is from one of my favorite companies. This is Dr. Sam's Brightly Serum. Now I actually really love her moisturizer as well. I do not like her sunscreens very much. This is the moisturizer and this is the Brightly Serum. She also has a nightly serum, which I haven't tried. The gold star ingredient of the Brightly Serum here is probably the niacinamide and the azelaic acid both of which can be helpful for discoloration. The niacinamide is like an ingredient that's helpful for so many things, but both of those in concert together work specifically to brighten and diminish like, you know, melasma, darker spots, discoloration, etc. So if you have hyperpigmentation on your face, this is a really nice serum to look into. So this is a morning serum that I use in addition to vitamin C. It is not a liquidy serum, by the way. It comes out more like a very light lotion. So if you don't like liquids, that's another thing to consider. This is Dr. Sam's Daily Moisturizer. This is called the Flawless Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer, you guys. It comes out with this like pump delivery system that all of her things have. There it is. It's nice, thick texture, but not too thick. So as you rub it in, you can see that there is no um, greasiness to it. It's a really, really nice and easy thing to rub into your skin. It's, it's fragrance free like all of her products. It's very, very nice. And sometimes I use it just as a night cream, particularly in summer when you don't need a really, really thick night cream. And this is a shea butter based. So it's very thick, it's very emollient, but it still like spreads really easily. You don't have to take time to warm it up in your hands or anything. This is, it's a 10 um, Miracle Leave-In product. I have used this off and on throughout my life. Um, I think this is probably one of the most effective shine serums, damage control serums, hair serums that I've ever found. It is an oldie, but a goodie in my book. And um, one of my friends from Homeschool on the Hill, Candice uses it and I love her hair. And so I hadn't used it in a very long time, but when she was telling me about it again, I was like, ah, let's get a bottle. And I really do like it. it I, I have not found any hair product that does what it says it's gonna do as much as it's a 10 does. This is the Murad uh, AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. Now I am kind of cautious with chemical exfoliants because I have fairly sensitive skin. I keep this in the shower and I use it, I would say maybe two or three times a week. No more than that because honestly, too much chemical exfoliation isn't good for your skin and it also kind of like strips the skin. And if you have dry skin already, you don't want to do that. However, I also have hormonal acne being in my 40s now. so. I definitely like having this on hand. I have repurchased it several times. I find it to be a pretty mild AHA BHA cleanser. Some of the ones on the market today are far too strong for regular use. Some of my friends use them every single day. I think that's really not the best thing to do for your skin. So if you're looking for like a more gentle formulation um, that you can use on occasion a few times a week, this is a nice option. Oh, and just to let you know, this is a blend of salicylic acid, lactic acid, and glycolic acid. So you're kind of getting the benefits of all three. Favorite oil cleanser of all time is the Havilabo oil cleanser. You can buy it on Amazon. And best part is you actually don't need to get rid of this bottle. You can just buy refills that come in a pouch and just keep refilling the bottle. So it's better for the environment that way. It is olive oil based. And that's the one thing I don't like about it. However, it has emollients in it so that it, it, you know, doesn't actually linger on your skin. It's easy to wash off with a gentle hydrating cleanser like the CeraVe. So I love it. Every other oil cleanser I've tried leaves like an oily residue on my skin. And when I do my second step, I have to really scrub, which is something I don't want to do on my face. So this is just my favorite. It's my ride or die. I think I'm done trying out new versions. I've tried, I would say four or five different oil cleansers. This is just my favorite. 
Last but not least is a drugstore moisturizer. It is the La Roche-Posay Toluene Double Repair Face Moisturizer. This is a really nice formula. Honestly, it's probably my second favorite next to the Dr. Sam's moisturizer for just a regular daily moisturizer just to keep on hand always. It has a really nice little tube. It's easy to travel with. Their sunscreen comes in SPF 30. It looks exactly like this, but it just says SPF 30 on it. And it's also a really nice formulation. One of my favorite like everyday sunscreens. I really only use SPF 30 if I'm not gonna leave the house. Otherwise I use SPF 45 or above, but um, it's a really nice moisturizer. So if you're looking for drugstore products, La Roche-Posay is another one of my favorite companies in addition to CeraVe and Neutrogena. Okay, you guys, so those were my empties of the last, I would say, four to six months. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any specific skincare questions or anything, please let me know in the description box down below. I will try to link some of my favorite um, skincare products down below, especially the ones that I get from Amazon. I do have an Amazon storefront. I actually always forget to mention it and never really do, but I try to put in things there that are useful to us in our homeschooling life, in our mom life, in our reading and journaling life as well as our skincare life. So I will try to link all of those down below. And as always, I really do appreciate your time. I know it is valuable. Thank you so much for helping me. I know your time is valuable too. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in my next video. So until then, take care. And I hope you guys have the very best day.